Welcome to our farm. I'm Sarah. And this is Erica. This is Mary. Hi. Laura. Hi. Rachel. And Andrea. We're the homegirls and we live on an organic dairy farm in Elk Mound, Wisconsin. We're glad to have you here today, so why don't you come and we'll show you around. Our farmhouse is probably over a hundred years old and our barn was built the year the Titanic sank. So this is a pretty old farm. During the summer when the grass is growing all the time, every time we milk the cows and we let them out, they go to a new pasture. So they can have new grass and then when they come back in they get milked and then they go to some more new grass. So they work their way around the farm and by the time they've reached the end of it, the grass is already grown up in the other paddocks. It's called rotational grazing. And also as they're moving through place to place in the fields, they're fertilizing it with their manure. And it's also nice for them to be out on a pasture because all the different plants, the dandelions, the plantain, um, even the nettles, they all have nutritional value. And so if they're just having corn and hay, it's not as good for them as if they can be out in the pasture and choosing what they want and getting the right vitamins and the right minerals in their bodies. We started milking cows, I think in September, about four and a half years ago. We started out with nine. So we were just milking nine cows and then we're up to like 37. We're hoping to get up to 50 and that's probably as big as we'll get. This is a dipper. I dip the cow with it. What you do is you squeeze it. You put it halfway up each teat. And it's to protect them from flies and other infections. We have jerseys, which are the little brown ones, and they can range from light brown to dark brown, and they usually have a dark brown head. We like them small because they're just kids and it's easier to work with them. Like the whole scene is they'll be like two feet higher than our cow, and much wider too. Like the whole scene would be up to here, and like that, it probably won't even fit in our stalls. <laughs> We have relationships with these cows. They're like pets. They're kind of like big dogs, and maybe they aren't as smart as dogs. But when it comes to getting into trouble, then they are smarter than dogs. I'll tell you that. We like them. I like them better than horses. I know most girls like horses, but I'm a cow girl. And in order for these cows to give milk, they have to have a baby first. So when they have their calf, then they start producing milk because it's intended to nurse the baby with. Well, we take that milk and we put it in our bulk tank and it goes to the store and you guys buy it. Although we do save some and we feed the calves so they can grow up and become cows too. You've seen the cows eating grass, but they have to eat in the winter time too when all the grass is dead. So we buy them some corn silage and we store it in this huge refrigerator. This is actually a small silo even though it holds over a hundred tons. This golden hay that you see beneath me, this is actually straw that we use for bedding for the calves. And behind me, the greener stuff, that's the hay that we feed to the cows. This haymow makes a wonderful playground. Our friends come here and the first thing they want to do is go in the haymow. And we have a rope swing that we swing on and you go flying off into the hay. And you can make forts and you can just run around and it's a great place to play cops and robbers in. It's a really fun place to play in. The 